Hello, my friends. Today, I'm going to present a video with a trick to memorize entire Oxford Dictionary. What if I say you can memorize the whole dictionary? So I have a dictionary. This is 1970 model. This is what I have started with. Okay, so there's a trick to learn this entire dictionary, right? Every word in this dictionary. You know, most of the time we learn by reading and uh, memorize it. So whatever in practice you remember. But then there is another trick where you can remember every word. Okay. Not by mugging up. Okay. Not, my, not by mugging up. Just learn once. Just learn once. And even if you ask me after 10 years, I will tell you the meaning of that word without googling, without checking my notes. I can tell that. So today, you know, it's after 45 days, uh, I can remember all the words, all the, all the meanings of words of an alphabet starting with A. So it's around um, 60 pages. Okay, 60 pages, alphabet A, I have learned it in 45 days. Yeah, just one page a day. You memorize it. Learn once. This is what I'm saying. Learn once and remember forever as long as you don't have any other memory issues right at least 50 percent of the people i'm not saying everybody can do it but at least 50 percent of the people who interested in english literature learning this and doesn't have any memory issues can learn every word's meaning and reproduce it after just learning once even after 10 years 20 years 30 years yeah that's the trick i'm going to explain do you believe me so now I know every word starting with letter A, every word. You ask me, I will tell you that meaning. I would have excluded maximum any botanical names or any scientific names or anything new that got added after 1970. This is a 1960-70 model, old dictionary. So anything new added, I may be missing it. but. Forget about it. So I'm getting into the method. I'm going to explain the method. You believe in it. Whoever believe in it can try this. Okay. So as I said in the introduction, uh, we all learn progressively from childhood days, from alphabets to small words, pronunciations, or the reading books, and uh, you know, learning new words with that. When we repeatedly learn this, we get into the you know meanings of the words so learning vocabulary is a standard way of uh, learning it nothing wrong with that that's all fine but if anyone interested in uh, literature a bit more deeper and uh, try to you know want to try to apply new principles and uh, new tricks to, i would say new tricks to learn words and memorize forever uh, i'm explaining this session for them so others can just ignore it okay these days anyone can google and find out and all you have uh, all kind of uh, tools you have but um, this is a very organic way of memorizing uh, the trick which i am going to explain to you uh, there is no stress it's imagination it improves your imaginative skill as well this is pure imagination you are not mugging up so for example i have shown two um, words uh, a plumb and a pile right now, uh, some of you may be learning, uh, some of you may be knowing, oh, aquamarine, that's another word. So, uh, how do you visualize it? Okay, the point is, when you see this word aquamarine, uh, most of the time, because of the nature of this specific word, you may be uh, connecting with uh, marine, and uh, so, you know, uh, you may be able to make a story. So, I have made a story, I have created a story in my mind related to marine and uh, aqua right and from that so my story will be different from yours you can create a story so it's it's a it's a jewel or it's it's a kind of precious stone in that uh, color of that eyes right look at the left side so that some something like that bluish green right so you visualize a story around that so whenever you see aqua marine you visualize that story related to that specific word and all of a sudden you will say that this is blue green kind of precious stone or you know something like damage 
right blue blue green colored uh, precious stone so uh, so how do i uh, you know uh, tell this for a plumb and a pal and i created a story for these words as well right for example i'll tell you for a plumb this is just one example uh, right um, yeah. so in, during our childhood days uh, you know, when we play cricket match so that's plumb out right that's plumb right? so that's sure that's in all sure that is out so it's saying something in that sort that is how you derive that meaning right uh, so a pal is something different so i have correlated a story in my mother tongue pal means milk so somebody associated with milk uh, you know got into some kind of trouble so i associated a, i created a basically story you can create a story with this word and uh, and then uh, you get them all of a sudden you get the feeling from that and then all of a sudden i could uh, tell you that meaning is a pal means maybe a shock a kind of surprise right so i told you this meaning not by storing it in my head or mugging up i connected with the with the story and from that i picked it up meaning and i'm telling you like right so this is not something uh, which you store up front but you store the story and then you connect it and then you get the meaning of it so it's basically a visualization and story uh, technique both comb combination of both yeah and uh, sometimes you can use the techniques like related words some of you know this right abhor uh, and abominate when you learn the word abhor and abominate absorb absolute and so on you, you can connect it absorb right uh, f declare free guilt so absolute most of you know so you connect with absolute absolute is perfect right so you become perfect absorb if you know uh, or solve solve it what will happen when you solve it so you connect all these three words and then you get all meaning of all this and i, I know i'm ex explaining giving examples of easy words for you to capture and um, capture the meaning of it acclaim and acclamation most of the time we use it so it may be easier for you to connect so adjure and adjure okay adjure it is something like so you look at that word jury jury adjure it's something related with the legal so in front of the court uh, you know you take oath the promise whereas adjure is again it's not it's not completely jury but it's, it's something connected with that kind of oath or you giving away some kind of belief system so i i connected with the uh you know i differentiated adjur and adjus with a, by looking at ab and ad right so ab i connected with that bot right monk so of that nature so the you know the giving away their own belief right so i I'm, i try to relate the meaning of that word adjur that way and whereas adjur is a code word yeah so you can relate and get into that meaning and another word is by anagram some of you would have already learned by this so a bet you take bet so betting is illegal so to doing something illegal or so i got into the meaning by saying that or oh, something not, not exactly that but you know you take another word just like just like that you play dumb charades it's, it's something related to that so you supporting illegal things yeah you get into that way a base you take the base right base means bottom or low so pushing you low a base that's a kind of meaning a base uh, put down right uh, degrade that's how you relate and get the meaning so this is again by not by just by relating with words but by anagrams take any abnesia means from the beginning so observe that initial initial initio abnesia uh, and anisi anisi is is very difficult word to from that perspective Uh, by looking at anagram but i i started looking at word you you had to observe that word nic sc sc c c c c look at the c did you have to get that into c it as an n i c it okay you pronounce it multiple times then you get that word or oh, this is related to c it and uh, yeah it's, it's used for um, you know in food uh, this kind of uh, what do you call seasoning right seasoning c so that's the meaning of it and then you have aquatint uh, i don't need to explain all the word but then uh, uh, just picking so you look into the anagram aquatint what you see that i, I see suddenly tin tin aqua and tin tin it is not tin it's something like copper so copper uh, copper in copper you have a paper um, uh, watercolor kind of painting right 
so that is a curtain uh, right so curtain is something like in uh, copper board uh, you have some kind of uh, um, you know painting or some kind of um, design you have uh, so that is a curtain that way of uh, so you observe that uh, anagram anagram is tin here and a tin here and then echo you connect all this you get the word uh, you know so that's and another thing is sound relating with sound acrostic you, you you pronounce it multiple time acrostic cross 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 crossword right so acrostic is is about uh, giving a crossword and null 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 so you pronounce it anon anonymous a face a face a face so it's face so something like a face so you talk and it is something to do with talking problem so you have some trouble with the talking the people with uh, you know speaking disabilities that's a face yeah and you have arms arms giving giving an arm you know, giving a support you connect the arms 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 right uh, you pr pronounce it all almona 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 so money money a money so giving, giving something related to money so you give money uh, someone gives who gives money authority that is almona arms is also something related to money so giving a support something of that support nature is it could be money or it could be something else so, so from sound you sound it multiple time and then you relate with the words and then uh, you get the meaning of it so this is another way now, another thing is people you connect with people so the moment i read uh, arbor i could connect with a word which i know I, I connect with a person right and then person story ambrosia ambrosia most of you know ambrose uh, or uh, the people who follow cricket knows who is ambrose uh, right a west indian cricketer so i connected a story with ambrose ambrosia and i could get the meaning ambrosia ambrose is something to, you know it takes a certain kind of specific food to you know finish indian batsman in 1980s uh, six seven wickets uh, you know it's a special kind of food uh, it's, it's a greek uh, food it's it's a special salad uh, so i i tried to connect it I, I couldn't immediately tell you what the meaning is but I, then i tried to connect with a story i created with that person agar 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 was a former cricketer uh, i'm taking some examples which everybody could relate uh, so Agak, a former Indian cricketer, yeah, I, I remember him by, you know, uh, one of the pictures I have is uh, bubble gum in his mouth and he's or chewing gum, what do you call it, right, and chewing it. So Agar Agar means um, he's chewing that, Agarkar is chewing that, it's something like jelly. So it's a jelly kind of stuff, Agar Agar means jelly jelly kind of stuff, right, so that's the meaning of it. And the another way is uh, mnemonics. This is a bit tough, tough. So don't go for mnemonics for every words. Pick uh, in every uh, letter, maybe five to ten words for mnemonics. So if you go for mnemonics, everybody, you may forget it. So use different techniques. That's the thing. Use different techniques to memorize. Okay. So F is I have used as insect, plant, uh, and, and then uh, juice, right? Uh, honey kind of thing. So insect taking plant juice of it uh, it informed well informed ever so ever everyday everyday you know uh, battery so might uh, so something positive right ever is positive ever asked uh, you um, stop right uh, stop last st so uh, take uh, mnemonics and um, uh, you get the meaning of it Another thing is root of the word going to Greek, Latin, Sanskrit origin. So anilin, anilin, uh, you have Sanskrit origin. Anyone knows that? Anilin. So it's something related to blue color, right? Nili, nili, nila, nila, nili. Nili is a Sanskrit word. Blue, anilin. Uh, so it, it becomes um, uh, that blue colored chemical. So that, that so it's, it's, uh, this is the way you uh, remember, you know, something like associated with the tar or coal tar uh, and output of that output while creating that i think developing that uh, it's that kind of a chemical so you connect with the root of the word a franchise so you know franchise so how do you give franchise you get the meaning of it right a franchise and this uh, coming from france and then you was supposed to french revolution free from servitude free from you know being a servant so so that way you connect the meaning throughout of the word and uh, so these are the different seven tricky ways to uh, create pointers just like you have computer pointer right in computers you have pointer you create a pointer to the memory 
you don't mug up you have the seven tricky ways there are seven tricky ways one is visual imagination right the story and then word connection then then anagram or then sound auditory and then people connection then mnemonics and then the root of the word origin so use different techniques right sometimes even songs right i have not i have not mentioned it here so you can use songs uh, connected with the word and then get into the meaning so it is pointers to our memory right you don't mug up pointers to memory and then when you when someone asks you that specific word you go to that pointer and pick the word and pick the meaning from that so this, this is the trick easy trick which i have explained to you in just 10 minutes if you have any question if you want my detailed session any of the colleges schools uh, i have given my email id uh, you can contact me and then uh, whenever i am free uh, based on my availability i can give you a session a bit more detail in case if you are interested okay in learning uh, specifically vocabulary uh, and uh, you know related to whoever is related to english literature or anyone who is interested if you have a good number of people to attend i can i can uh, do that for you guys okay thank you for listening to me uh, thank you thanks a lot yeah